Hey everyone, my name is Ashi, and for the episode 3 of our test drive series, we have the Kia Seltos. Initially, we weren't considering this, that's why we didn't get to do a test drive, but when we look at the interior and exterior, we thought that, wow, this is a car actually worth looking at. The Kia Seltos is Kia's latest vehicle on the Korean brands entering through the Sum Compact crossover segment in the Philippines. By size, the Seltos is as wide as the Kona, but the Kia crossover is longer and lower by at least 170mm, while the wheelbase is also a tad longer at 2610mm. The Kia Seltos is a 5-seater, five 5-door five subcompact crossover that has a front engine, front wheel drive layout. It has a McPherson strut and coil spring suspension set up front, while the rear end gets a coupled torsion beam axle with coil spring. It's equipped with disc brakes on all four wheels. All Kia Seltos variants are equipped with a touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The number of convenient features varies per variant, but the top-level choice comes with keyless entry, cruise control, automatic climate control, a full LED lighting affair, reverse camera, rear parking sensors, and front proximity sensors. All variants of the Kia Seltos gets an 8-inch floating infotainment system to crown its tech features inside the car. Speaking of variants, the Kia Seltos is available in three tiers. You have the Kia Seltos 2.0 LXIVT, Kia Seltos 2.0 EXIVT, and the Kia Seltos 2.0 SXIVT, which comes in another subcategory that is two-tone for its exteriors. As with the rest of the Kia lineup, the Seltos has a huge tiger nose grille that flanks both side swept headlights, highlighted by a pair of sharp daytime running lights. The subcompact crossover also comes with faux silver accents on the front bumper, while the top spec Seltos gets LED fog lamps to complete the busy fascia. The Seltos sits on 17 inch wheels, which is standard across the range. The sporty appeal of the crossover comes from the array of black undercladdings that outline the shape of the vehicle. One con that we saw while reviewing the vehicle was that we felt like some tech features were missing at their price point, but overall it's still a great subcompact SUV. So if you guys are looking to purchase, it starts at 1.205 and the top of the line is at 1.535. Let us know what you think. Bye!